Good morning. Um, I get a lot of requests about uh, skincare products and about makeup and about the makeup and things that I use. So I decided to try to come live this morning out of uh, the area where I get ready. Just out of the shower and we'll uh, go through the products that I personally use. First, I put on this Derma E Hydrating Mist. It has hyaluronic acid and it just feels so good going on. And what the hyaluronic acid does is um, helps your skin retain moisture. So all day, the you know, my skin will retain more moisture. In a minute, I'll be adding, I'm um, trying to get some more light here, uh, something to help with oil because even at, at my age, and uh, I still have oily skin around my forehead. Now I use the Derma E Firming Eye Lift. Or is that what it says? Yep, eye lift, firming eye lift. And I'll put this under and around my eyes where the crow's feet would be and uh, all around the eye area. Um, probably not as gentle as I should be, but I'm always in a hurry with everything that I do. The way that I have uh, my makeup area set up, I'm upstairs, so I'm actually looking out through a wooded area through uh, the window and I get to watch the birds play now and then some squirrels or a deer out there and I, I really really enjoy this part of my morning. Um, I now use uh, Derma E Firming DMAE Serum. Love this serum. Good morning uh, Stephanie. Thanks for joining us. I'm uh, showing my skincare routine for the mornings. Um, this is a, a good routine for people I'm in my mid 50s, so this is this is uh, the natural products that I choose to use uh, at this age to help with the wrinkling and the sagging and all the other crazy stuff that starts going on. I now have a deep wrinkle peptide moisturizer. Uh, we don't sell Michelle. We looked at that. Uh, uh, when we were trying to decide which ones to carry. Thank you, Stephanie. And uh, and we chose the Derma E instead. I really like the Michelle products, and we may at a later date, if our uh, skincare routine starts, uh, you know, being a bigger seller. Right now, we sell Mad Hippie, which I absolutely love as well, and I'll rotate back and forth between the Mad Hippie and the uh, Derma E. Right now, almost these are almost empty, so I'll probably be... Um, back with the Mad Hippie soon. Jay Nardell actually makes a skincare line. Candy uses that. Um, of course, her skin is 20 years younger than mine. Uh, okay, so that's all of that that I put on. I now uh, usually put on the... I get the Grand Brow. They have a Grand for the eyelashes and a Grand for the brow. This one's new. I just opened it this morning because I ran out of my other one yesterday. Um, they have a lash and a brow, but I always uh, just use the uh, brow one because it has a bigger wand thing on the end, and I can use it for my brows and my lashes and saves a step. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. How sweet. And the Derma E is, is awesome. I've used it off and on uh, ever since we've had the store open, which gen this next 2018 is our 10th year. And the, like I said, I sort of rotate it with the Mad Hippie. But I've used Jane Iredale for over 20 years, even before we had the store. So I actually used the brow one here, put a little bit on my lashes. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the, uh, in the video, but the... Uh, I have hypothyroidism, so I actually, from here out, uh, did not grow any brows for years and years, and I still wouldn't if it wasn't for this. And what brows I did have, uh, uh, oh, cool that your eyebrows are tattooed. I've considered that, but I'm afraid what it'll look like as I get older. Uh, I've seen some that faded in because my hair is, uh, is lighter. I can't wear the darker uh, eyebrows, but this stuff... I swear it makes your eyebrows and your eyelashes grow. I don't know if you'll be able to see how long my eyelashes are, but before this, I've had people pick at me about the fact whenever I'm without makeup that you can't see my lashes because they were so light and so short and so sparse, but they no longer are, and I swear by this stuff. Um, I always next put on, well, I'm so backwards this morning, my foundation. At this time of the year, I use the... Uh, you can see it's well used. I use the powder one. At other times of the year, I have it in my drawer here. I use the uh, the BB cream during the summer. I use the liquid. The liquid minerals was actually the first Jane Iredale product I ever tried. Morning, Brenda. The eyelash product is, is awesome. We do have it at the store. Uh, and... 
but the, you know all of these are I'm, I'm I could use you know and order through the store any products that I wanted but I, I like these I've used these for years I put on this is my base I'm putting on now I put it on with the brush uh I don't know that that's a kabuki brush from back in the day of when they had all those infomercials and the other brands. Uh, but I will say, Jane Argyle is a true mineral makeup, and according to, I think it's the FDA, they only have to have 10% uh, minerals in the makeup to call it a make, uh, mineral makeup, which means that you can go to Walmart and buy something that calls itself a mineral makeup. And it, good morning, Dorth, or Dot. Uh, morning, Brenda. And uh, they can call it a mineral makeup, but this is uh, this is crushed rocks. This is this is not going to be adding any kind of chemicals to my skin. If they can do anything natural and anything to where it doesn't hurt your skin, uh, that's that's what they're going to do. And like I said, I've trusted them for probably over 20 years now, uh, or close to it since 2003. How many years ago was that? 14, 15 years. Anyways, a long time. I've, uh, like I said, I switch formulations during the year, but this is how I put mine on. Candy puts hers on with this sponge that's called the Flocked Sponge, I believe, and gets a heavier application at any one time, but I don't like a heavier application, so I use the brush. And I wish y'all could see. I, I got uh, my little makeup stand here at uh, Hobby Lobby, it's cute, cute as pie, but I bought at I think at Walmart, maybe the dollar store, maybe I think Dollar General, a little uh, organizer tray to go in the drawer. And man, has that made my life easier because everything is right where I can grab it. This I, is my blush. This is uh, Barely Rose is what they call this one. Um, I used one called Cheeky for years and years by them. Absolutely. Uh, the name of the powder foundation is... Oh, man, I keep them in these cute little, uh, they come out with a new one of these every year. Perfectly pressed, I believe. They they also make a loose formulation. I use it as my over powder. Uh, but it's the Jane Iredale, uh, I think it's perfectly pressed foundation. And then there, I, they have a cream blush. I have one in a big tube like this. I use this one when I use the liquid uh, or the cream uh, formulations because it goes on really easy and you can use it as a lipstick or as a blush and I really love the ease of that but at the time of the year when my skin is uh, between oily and dry when it's not all the way winter yet to where I would want the heavy cream Jane I-R-E-D-A-L-E Iredale -E, uh, then I use the uh, the powder which is my favorite I probably use it eight months out of the year uh, now I'm going to use the loose powder. They have several formulations of this, but I always put this on and have a big brush I use with this. I put this on over my blush because I'm always afraid I'm going to look like a clown with too much blush on. So, uh, other than it, it helps to absorb oil. And I, I skipped a whole dang step nervous about, uh, thank you. Uh, actually, that's not a Jane Iredale blush brush. I got this from Sephora. It's a Sephora brush. Uh, Jane Iredale has a, a, a brush, but um, I prefer this one, so when it's not my favorite, I don't use it. Um, and this is an all uh, this is a uh, Too Faced T O O F A C E D powder brush. Uh, Jane Iredale has one, but I'm waiting on this one to wear out that, that I do like. I'm just waiting on this one to wear out before I just get money on another one and something that I skipped because I was nervous that I was doing this live was I usually put the smooth affair the one in the silver bottle this one's oil absorbing and I usually put it on my forehead and on my uh through my nose and my chin area before I uh put on my uh, my base in the mornings. During uh, the really part of the winter, I'll use the other Smooth Affair, which adds moisture. So I went probably in late January, February, that kind of stuff, I'll use this one. And during the summer and the rest of the year, I use uh, that one underneath my base. So now I'm fixing to head to Lake Charles and, and my makeup should last all day. I mean, I'll be home by four or five o'clock. It's not like I'm going to some kind of party tonight or anything. <laughs> uh, I use these are all Jane Ardell because I I have powdered all over my eyebrows and everything else so now I have to and I have to get close to the mirror so I'm sorry if y'all can't see this I actually have a, a new light that I just got to go over the top I got my husband to uh, or I ordered one of those uh, mirrors like they have at a, at the motels that come out of the bathroom wall and you can stretch it and flip it around to the big side and the little side. Uh, 
and I absolutely love it, but I also, because of, you know, the age of my eyes, need a little more light, so I actually got a cheap light that clips on, that I, that I goes above, but I use, um, this is called the Sun Touch Plus, and if anybody wants a link to that, I'll give you a link to that later, um, which is, uh, it comes on for 45 minutes at a time, it's, um, one of the lights that you're supposed to use in the winter time to keep you from getting depressed. If you sit under it for 45 minutes, then it uh, it helps to um, get more bright light into your system so that your body naturally produces more melatonin at night and more uh, serotonin during the day. So I sit here under this every day. Now I use the Palm Mist. I uh, spritz this on. This is probably my favorite part of doing the makeup because it feels so good. And then I... Uh, blot that and this is what helps my makeup last all day long it will look as good at the you know five o'clock this afternoon six o'clock whenever i get home as it does now i sort of blot it in there and uh okay Th stephanie i will i'll uh i'll get those in uh later today this uh that we were taught this in a jane ardell uh, consultation by a guy who does uh makeup for famous people uh and someone had asked what do you do about uh the yes the happy light that's it i love mine and and it's perfect because i can i i like to to multitask so i multitask by using it as a makeup light and uh getting the benefits of it at the same time anyways he taught us to fold our little uh thing up like a taco here and then you just mash in and and i hate to say you're mashing uh the makeup into the pores but it's similar to that it makes them not show so much and as you age you get more wrinkles your pores get bigger and and those are some kind of things that you're glad you have makeup for. So I use my flocked sponge for that. Uh, normally right now is when I would put on my brow stuff. Like I said, I'm backwards this morning. Uh, and then I usually use one of two different colors of the eye pencil. I use uh, sort of a grayish blue and I use a brown. That's another... Um, Another tip for people with experienced, that's what they call it, experienced eyes, is to, uh, and I'm going to sharpen it just with a regular sharpener here, is uh, you don't use black anymore. Black is too harsh, probably after maybe age 50. I actually quit using black in my 40s. Uh, but anyway, so now I'm using, I have on a, a shirt that has blue and white flowers on it, so I'm going to use the more gray one. And... I learned many years ago you're not supposed to stretch out your eyes to do this because it causes wrinkles. I think I'm getting wrinkles anyway. So, but anyway, I try real hard to get a small amount of this on. Uh, some days I don't wear eyeliner and I went through that phase mostly whenever I was wearing glasses because I had such a hard time without my glasses on seeing the eyes to be able to put it on to begin with but i uh now that i've had eye surgery and my vision is coming in i can see a little bit better okay i always put on my mascara uh before i put on my eyeshadow because i get little dots of mascara everywhere and that helps me to hide them a little bit Hey, Debbie. Uh, so I'm using the Grand Mascara. This is from the same people that make the Grand Brow. This is the best mascara I've ever used in my entire life. And uh, for a little while, they quit making the brown, and I didn't know what I was going to do. I actually brought brought every tube of it we had home with me. And about the time I ran out, they came out with it again. So I'm happy about that. So um, this product has a little bit of the Lash Growing Serum in it. I'm trying to twist it a little bit up into the lashes. See, now i got it all up there on my eye. That's what I do. Um, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. I, yeah, I try really, really hard not to look too made up. And it and I actually, usually this takes me about 10 minutes. But I have worn uh, face makeup, blush, powder, mascara, eyeliner, lip stuff, eyeshadow. Hey, Debbie. Every single day, probably since I was about 14 years old, even whenever I'm at home, I try for my husband not to see me without it. I grew up in a a, a generation where you, you wore makeup, but I always, uh, years ago, I actually sold the pink brand and won a car doing that and everything, but that, uh, that was probably over 
nearly 30 years ago because my son just turned 30 and, and it was when he was little. And, uh, but whenever I moved into needing more natural things and, and you know, I, that's when I tried the Jane Iredale and I've, and I've been stuck ever since. And then when we opened the store, I knew that I wanted to carry a natural makeup line. And I actually looked at a couple and I'm like, you know, I believe in Jane Iredale products. I've worn the Jane Iredale products for, you know, all these years. Why would that not be the brand that I use? Uh... So, I mean, that we sell. So, that's why we have Jane Iredell in the store. And it is a little bit more expensive, but they spend so much uh, money in their science department to make sure that they're going to give you products that cover well and products that uh, that do a good job at what they're supposed to do to where you don't walk around looking like you have a bunch of rocks or chemicals uh, mashed on your face all day. Uh, I think that's important. Um... So I, I do appreciate somebody letting me know that it it looks natural because it takes a, a long time every morning, not a long time, 10 minutes, I guess, every morning to go through this routine to make it look like you didn't put much makeup on, but to where your, your complexion and your skin look more clear and even and where you look like you got a little rosiness in your cheeks. Uh, I then do my eyeshadow. Actually, I would, uh, I have a sip of my morning drink here which is barlene's greens the strawberry kiwi barlene's greens and i wet my q-tip on the cup i was kind of crazy huh anyways this is the strawberry kiwi barlene's greens mixed with the uh the tram which is the garcinia cambodia and green coffee bean by uh oh gosh who makes that advocare and I'm, I'm addicted to it so i drink this every single morning the mascara is uh by the same people as the brow. It's called Grand Lash. It used to be called Grand Lash MD. It was a doctor that created it. And I use the brown. They have a brown and a black. They also have a a, a liquid eyeliner. And I wet this Q-tip because I'm now going to go try to take off anywhere that I uh, dotted my mascara. And I didn't do too bad of a job for somebody who was talking and sticking themselves in the eye at the same time. Anyway, I, I wet my Q-tip on that cup. That's a weird thing to do, I know. My kids will probably be mad that I said that out loud. Hey, y'all. <laughs> okay, this is, I use, uh, gosh, they have it, and this is dusty all over. I apologize, but this is this is real life here. Uh, uh, the Jane Ardell uh, uh, eyeshadow is really good. I have this kit. I, I love this kit. I hope they don't quit selling this kit. But I also have 15,000 other of their eyeshadow kits. And I, and I go through phases. But I like to wear the natural colors. And I don't use the brush that's in it unless I'm traveling. These are Jane Iredell brushes. Uh, oh, cool. Thanks, Stephanie. I'm glad you went and liked our page. And uh, the holiday train was awesome, wasn't it? Uh, thank y'all for all the thumbs up okay i'm now rolling this is the uh try to get it up close love 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 this brush this is the what they call the crease brush and i always park my pinky right here and just go back and forth back and forth back and forth so i'm actually stabilizing myself with that pinky and going back and forth in the crease of the eye i'm hoping that you don't see a whole lot of eye shadow because I'm shadowing the eye. I'm not trying to put a color up there for anybody to see later. If you want to age yourself, that's the definitely the way to make yourself look older is to put on some black eyeliner and some black mascara and some blue or any other bright color eyeshadow. People aren't really supposed to see the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow does a job and what that job is, like this right here, what I'm doing here, I am deepening the crease but just above the crease and, and, and you do that with the darker color because that makes it recede a little bit and that receding a little bit makes this part of the eyes that as you get older start to droop not appear to uh to droop as much so that's always a bonus i'm now going to use the lightest color here and you highlight the under the eyebrows with that not enough to where you can really see it but i always get the inner corner of my eye with that just a tad let me get the other one real quick uh this has been probably a uh, uh the eyeshadow routine that I've used since I was in my 20s. So hopefully this isn't too old. But I was also very pleased to see that uh, 
that in uh, the makeup class that we did take that um, he still used a similar thing. What I'm going to show you now is I'm going to do one more thing. This is back to the second darkest color. That's the, the one that I use the most. Start at the edge of your eye. If you're experience have more experienced eyes and come in we're not wanting to wing out or go past the edge of that eye at all i'll show you a little more of that thank you debbie you debbie you can come by anytime candy does uh not anytime probably make an appointment with candy because she does work uh monday through thursday 9 to two thirty, i think but she does free makeovers i mean you can or we have something called a 30 30 30 she can do a make a makeover for 30 dollars takes 30 minutes and then you get 30 dollars to use toward makeup so really that makes it free uh so i stopped that there i'm i'm Normally, I'm not going to show y'all this. I would wet this with my tongue, but I'm going to wet it on my cup over here because this is my little eyeliner brush. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. It's small, and I'm going to go in this same color because I don't want too dark of a color because my eyes are older. And this is what I would go under a little bit of the edge of my eyebrows. I'm going to come in just a little bit on the edge of the eyes. But this last part is the most important part that I learned from the class with the guy who talked about the experienced eyes. Um, is I'm going to draw a little line straight up right here at the edge. It's going to go straight up. See if I can see it and y'all can see it at the same time. Straight up right here, and that's putting an end to that eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to come up beside it here with my fingers and make sure that it's over. And that makes it all stop about right here. Now, if I was in my 20s, I would still want it to go way out here. But as you get older, if you don't want your eyes to look like they're sagging and bagging down and all that, you want to stop it uh, about right there. Uh, Stephanie and Debbie, both of you, if you want to, uh, the store number is 337-463-5777. Candy will be there after uh, 9. Uh, you can call or call and leave a message for her to call you back if she's not there and have her set up an appointment where you can come in and do it. I mean, it's nice to have before the holidays and you can always ask for a gift certificate uh, to the store and then use it either for a massage or a spa day or for uh, the Jane Ardell makeup. Hey, Mandy, good morning. I hope everything's going good with you. I'm trying not to embarrass y'all too much. I didn't, I didn't stick this on my tongue. I stuck it on my cup before I did my eye. <laughs> uh, that's my daughter, uh, and I am so glad that she's here, too. And where did I put? This is, well, I'm lost for a second. And I'm going to have to stay lost for a second because I don't know. Here it is. This is uh, my very favorite, and it's almost empty. Uh, this one's called Compulsion. This one is also from uh, Jane Ardell. And on this end, there is uh, a lip stain. I love this is a very natural color. The Compulsion is, a, is, a, is almost just a little tad darker than my lips, so I don't look like I've, I've got too much makeup on. And I go around... Uh, the lips with it trying to go, I mean, to the very, very tip of the edge. Uh, awesome, Debbie. I, that, Candy will be glad to see you anyways, and you'll you'll love the way the makeup feels. I don't feel like I have anything on at all, um, and that's the good thing, too. Um, that also happens as you get a little bit older. You don't want to walk around worrying about whether your makeup's going to smear on your face or feeling like you've got anything caked on. You want to walk around feeling like you look like the best you without all that other uh, stuff going on, and this makeup is awesome for that. The uh, the other thing that's good about it is it's um, it's actually they call it the skincare makeup. Using it actually helps you. Thanks for the thumbs up, y'all. Uh, using it actually helps your skin to stay looking younger longer. It's uh, it's it's really good for that. Now the other end of this, I'm gonna well I'm gonna tell you what it does, and I'm gonna do something else this morning. The other end of this, after you let the lip stain dry, the other end of it has a gloss. And you would put this gloss on, and then it looks like fresh lipstick, but still not gaudy. But I'm trying out a sample this morning. I don't know whether it, this is by the same Grand Lash MD people. This one's called Grand Lips. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, Dot, you would love this makeup. I'm telling you, it's it's so good for the skin. The uh, this is a sample from the Grand Lash people. This is a, and it's almost the same color as the Compulsion, which is almost the same color as my lips. It. Uh, goes on almost like a lip gloss looks like a lipstick but it's the kind that makes your lips plump just a little bit it doesn't uh sting 
our makeup swelled up or anything like that. But uh, probably the next order probably be about a month from now. They've convinced me I'm going to order this. It, it's awesome. It feels good on and it's a beautiful color. I may not get all the colors, um, but I'm going to get the, the, the natural colors. The, the, the younger people have so many things that they can put on their lips and make them look this big and bright red and beautiful. And if you put that on after you're 50 years old, you are going to look like a clown. So I choose this instead. So uh, I really enjoyed my time with y'all this morning. And if you have any questions, uh, you can message me on here. You can uh, call the store or there went my 45 minute light uh, and and we'll be glad to answer them and I'll also this is the greatest thing ever this is one of those uh, like not like the turby towel because it's way bigger I'll put a link to this on there too love this thing I just got out of the shower so y'all get to see that too but um love this towel it has a little hook thing on back and uh it stays it's just big enough to stay on my head but not as not as heavy as a regular towel love that stuff thank you dot i appreciate that i was nervous so um, i appreciate y'all coming in talk to you later bye